If you've watched this channel for a while, we've done a lot of single character animations. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to answer a question I've gotten a lot recently, which is how do you create multi-character animations? So having more than one character in a single scene. So I'm going to answer that today and we're going to go ahead and put all these characters together to make a short animated story. And the good thing is that we're going to be doing all of this using just AI and also using softwares, which is free. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the very first thing we're going to be needing is some kind of a script. Now, whether you already have one written or you just have a general idea of what you're trying to do our very first ai tool that i like to use for something like this is our very good friend chat gpt and i'm going to give you some guidance on how to write your prompt so i'm going to head over to chat gpt and i'm going to tell it to write a funny animation script about a western female and male sheriffs because i have these two characters that i want to use I'm also going to tell it that the script will only contain these two characters because we don't want any other character described in the scene because we can only animate these two at this given time. Next, I'm also going to ask it to describe in detail the environment which these characters are in because we're going to take this and put it in a text to image generator and use AI to also generate the environment. All right. So as you can see, ChatGPT has given us a full script for what we can use for our animation it is called the kids of the missing badge and as you can see it followed my prompt it's also giving me a very detailed description of what the environment looks like followed by the dialogue for each of the characters all right now the second thing we need to do is generate audio using the script that we already have now you can go ahead and record this yourself if you have a good acting voice uh, but in my case i like to use our second ai tool to do this which is 11 labs so I'm going to head over to 11labs.com and in this case, we need two different voices. For my female voice, I have this nice voice here uh, from Teresa. I think it fits uh, for this kind of Western style. So I'm going to go ahead and copy Jane's dialogue and paste it right here where it says text. As you notice where she says Billy, I put a little bit of an exclamation mark so that it gives it a little bit of character and personality. Now let's generate this and hear what it sounds like. Billy, where's your sheriff's badge? Now that sounds pretty good, but I want this to sound uh, even a little bit better. So we're going to generate this one more time. Billy, where's your sheriff's badge? All right. This second version sounds a little bit better. So we're going to use this. Next, we need to generate the audio for Billy. And in the case of Billy, I have this audio here that says Finn. The world is round and the place which may seem like. And I love how that sounds. So we're going to go ahead and use that for Billy. Just before we get started with animating our audio, we have to do one more thing. We have to combine all these individual audio files that we just generated into one file. And you can use any audio tool to do this. For my case, I'll be using a free tool called Audacity. And you can download that. A link to that will be in the description. All right. So I have Audacity open here. You want to head over to File, click on Import, and then click on Audio. Now I'm going to select all the individual files that I downloaded for my scene one dialogue and then click on open. It's going to load all the files here. So what we want to do is just arrange this. So we have two tracks, one for Billy and one for Jane. So we'll go ahead and arrange all these files in the order in which they appear in our script. So we have Jane starting first where she says, hi, Billy, where's your badge? So I'll put Jane number one right there. So next we have Billy responding back to Jane. So we're going to drag Billy's audio and make sure it starts right after Jane says, uh, hi, Billy, where's your badge? Uh, after that, Jane responds back. So I'm going to put the Jane audio and put back the Billy audio. So we'll do this until we have this arranged like our dialogue is in our script. So the goal here is simply to arrange this audio file so that if we play it right now, it should sound the way the final animation will sound. So both dialogues should go back and forth. Next, we're going to export the individual tracks that we have here. But before we do that, we want to make sure that the tracks have the exact same length. And if you look at this, you notice that Billy's track right here ends before Jane's track. So to fix that, we're going to add a little bit of a blank audio file just to make them the same length. To do that, you want to head over to Generate and click on Silence. You can put any time. I'll put about two seconds worth of silence and click on Generate. So as you can see, that has a blank audio file. So what I'm going to do is just drag this file to end exactly the same spot that Jane's audio end. This way, when we export the two tracks, they will be the exact same length. This is very important when we do our animation. So to export the first track, just click on solo to solo out just Billy's track. Then go to file, click on export and then MP3. And then we'll just give this a name. I'll call this Billy 
scene one and to do the same for jane's track uh on solo billy's track and solo just jane's track and then repeat the same thing and export that out now that we have our two audio files fully exported for scene one let's go ahead and let me show you how you can animate them all right now that we are done starting out our audio let's get to the fun part of things we're gonna get started with animating our animations for this we're gonna be using a tool from adobe called animate from audio i'll put a link to that in the description now let's head over to animate from audio and let me show you what you need to do so i have this tool open right here we're gonna be using these two characters we will use this uh, character here for billy and i'm gonna be using this lady right here uh, as jane so the first thing we want to do is change the background because we will replace this later while editing so just select transparent background for the background and then now we need to upload the audio file that we just generated to do that head over right here where it says browse and then click on that and then i'm just going to select the audio file for jane the one file that we merged into one file on audacity and then i'm going to upload that now give the ai a couple of minutes to do its thing and just like that we have our animation ready so let's play that billy where's your sheriff's badge so as you can hear she says something and then where billy responds she's still on the scene with a dead silence that's why we had to arrange the audio the way we did and then she responds back again there's dead silence for billy to respond so now i'm gonna head over to open in adobe express right here and this is going to open this file where we can actually edit this and combine the videos together so as you can see i have my video right here with a transparent background and i can click and drag this around so now we're going to get back to this in a second i'm going to open a new tab and open adobe express once more and this time around select billy as our character and upload billy's audio i think i left it at that fancy all you can eat bean place darn it jane so i'm going to go ahead and also click on open in adobe express now this is going to open this in a new project what you want to do is just click on billy and just move it around a little bit this activates it and makes it possible for you to copy it then i'm going to right click and click on copy now i'm going to head over to my first project the one we did with jay right click and click on paste now this is going to paste billy into this new scene so as you can see we now have two characters in the scene the first thing i want to do is make billy face jane so I'm going to go right here where it says flip and then I'm going to flip that. So now we now have Billy facing Jane. I'm going to go ahead and just change our skills a little bit so that uh, they scale properly to the scene. So great. We have our two characters now in the scene. Now we're going to go ahead and generate the background for the scene. Remember we asked ChatGPT to explain in detail how the background should look like. So I'm going to copy all of that description. I'm going to head over right here where it says media. And then it says here text to image so i'll choose widescreen and i'll paste all that description that chat gpt just gave us i will select our type as at just make sure it's at and then we'll just go ahead and generate so as you can see it's generated some nice scenes that match the background that chat gpt described to us so i'm just going to click on that and click on set as background so you see now we have the backdrop and we have our characters and if we play that this is what that sounds like billy where's your sheriff's badge I think I left it at that fancy all-you-can-eat bean place. Darn it, Jane! Billy, that's your 10 star. Without it, how will folks know you ain't some random cowboy? Maybe by my authoritative demeanor? You mean the one that got us kicked out of the bean place? So as you can see, you already have your animation pretty much set. And this is how you can do multiple character animation. Now, although Adobe Express is a good software to use to edit these animations, and it makes it quite seamless, but it's a little bit limited. It doesn't do a lot. So if you wanted to take this and edit it in a more advanced software like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or any other software, I'm gonna show you what you need to do for that. So let's head back to the project. What you wanna do is instead of selecting a transparent background, you wanna go ahead and select the green background right here. This way we can key out that background in any other software that we're using to edit and do a lot more. So that's the case of what we're gonna do right here. So I'm gonna do that for Jane's character and Billy's character and download those two videos so instead of opening adobe express we just click on the download button and then let's go ahead and edit them to edit them i'm going to use a free software that comes with windows and i'll show you how we can combine these videos together and add a little bit more to them the first thing you want to do is head over to create a new video and then this opens up a new project head over to import media 
and select the two videos we just downloaded. So that of Billy and that of Jane. So that has there in your project panel. So I'm just going to click and drag Billy's video down and then I'm going to click and drag Jane's video to the top. So we have these two clips right now properly aligned, but we can't see the two characters. We're going to fix that. To fix that, you want to go to effects and then search for green screen. Just drag and drop that on both characters. And now you can see the background has been removed and you can see this little background right here. You can always adjust this if it doesn't look right. Just adjust the threshold. Now let's go ahead and also flip Billy just the way we did previously. So I'll click on Billy, head over to the right here and just click on the flip button. So we now have Billy flipped and we have him now talking to Jane. All right, so we have that already set up. Now the next thing we need to do is add the backgrounds just the way we did on Adobe Express. Now to do this, I'm going to head over to adobefirefly.com, which is pretty much the same tool we used previously, but this is its own specific website. All right, I have Firefly open here. There's several options. What we're interested in is this text to image option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. I'll head over to ChatGPT, copy the prompt it gave me and paste it right here. And then click on generate to the far right. Now, just make sure you select your aspect ratio to a wide screen so it can give us the horizontal view. And that should generate four options like you're seeing right here. So you see very similar to what we got on Adobe Express. I'm going to go and do the same thing for all the four prompts that ChatGPT has given us for all the four scenes that we ask it to generate. And these are what all those individual scenes look like on Adobe Firefly. All right, I'll head over back to ClipChamp and I'm just going to drag the image we just generated. I already uploaded this to the software and just drag it to the bottom and adjust this to fit the scene. So you see, we now have our backdrop on the scene. So and all you need to do is pretty much repeat the same step for each scene and you would have your animation done. Before we leave, I want to give you two tips to help you make your animation better. If we look at the script that ChatGPT generated, it talks about a rubber chicken, but we don't have a rubber chicken in our current image right now. So I'm going to show you how you can add and modify the scenes generated by Adobe Firefly. So I'm going to click on the image that was generated for the second scene. I'll click on edit and then I'm going to click on generative fill. Now I'm going to use this uh, add tool to just click on where I want the rubber dock to be added to. So in my case, probably somewhere about the door. And then I'm going to type what I want it to add to that image. So I'll just click on here, a rubber chicken. And right here you can see it's generated several rubber chickens to blend with the backdrop. I'll find the one that kind of suits the scene most and I think maybe this one looks great. And then I'm going to click on keep. I'll download this and then I'm going to import this back to my scene. So as you can see right there, I've, I've set this scene up and you can see we have a rubber chicken somewhere right there on the backdrop. So for tip number two, I'm going to show you how you can get other animated assets to add into your scene. In our case, the script does talk about a horse that belongs to Billy. So I want to find a horse that is actually animated and lively to add to the scene. To do that, I like to use a website called Envato Element, uh, which gives you a lot of assets that you can use. So I'm going to head over to Envato Element and right here I'll search for a horse. And then right here the below, I'm going to filter by stock videos. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to make sure that I check on alpha channel because I want ones with a background that is transparent. So I'll select true and I found one here that looks quite interesting that would blend with my scene. I can use this and you can use the same concept to add other things to your scene like birds, animals and every other element that you want to add that would have a little bit of sort of action and animations. So I'm going ahead and downloaded my horse. Now when I head back to ClipChamp, I'm going to drag the horse and drop it right here in my timeline. And because we selected alpha channel, you can see that the background is transparent. So we'll just flip that and scale it to fit. And now when I play the scene, we would have a horse which is animated in the background. All right, so I've taken this concept, gone to Envato Element, gotten a few more of these animations and put everything together. And I'll be playing for you the final clip with all the four scenes that ChatGPT generated for us. But before I do that, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. That way you don't miss it anytime I create a new video. Now, if you have ideas of other videos you would like to see me do tutorials on, do let me know in the comments and I'll do make sure to try my best to do them. I'll catch you in the next one. Here's our final animation clip. Bye-bye. Billy, where's your sheriff's badge? I think I left it at that fancy all-you-can-eat bean place. Darn it, Jane! Billy, that's your 10 star.
Without it, how will folks know you ain't some random cowboy? Maybe by my authoritative demeanor? You mean the one that got us kicked out of the bean place? Ah. Get out of here! <laughs> Maybe it's on your horse? I checked, but all I found was my rubber chicken over there. <laughs> Why on earth do you have a rubber chicken? For intimidation, obviously. You ever seen a bandit's face when I pull it out? I imagine it looks similar to mine right now. Maybe you lost it here in the saloon. Let's check. Oh, I remember. I traded it to the pianist for a song. You traded your badge for a song? Really? It was a really good song, Jane. Better be the best darn tune I ever hear. Billy, after all this, you know you can just get a new badge, right? Really? Even after I traded it? Yes, but you're buying the next all-you-can-eat bean meal. Deal! Just keep the rubber chicken away from the beans! <laughs> <laughs> you're one of a kind, Billy.